most important part that we go into every single day is don't trade with your eyes closed. Be prepared. Whether it's the long side to the short side, be prepared. From the technical aspect of what is happening is we're in a short little crossroad. Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to uh, another edition of uh, the AccessTrader.com nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Um, hell of a day, okay? Hell of a day. Uh, we'll get to individual pivots in a second. So let, let's talk about um, let's talk about the macro picture, and this is kind of what we've been talking about now uh, for about four days. Uh, big, big macro push, uh, three weeks worth of buying uh, stocks are in orbit, and then slowly but surely we started seeing um, you know a little bit of a resemblance of what happened uh, right over here on September the first. And basically, what happened was after this really, really big move up. We hit supply and slowly but surely started putting in uh, lower highs, lower highs, lower highs. And over the course of the of week or so, uh, we started losing the five day moving average. Then we lost the, the 10 day moving average and then we fell below the 50 day moving average. And then we sold off for the next several weeks. And, you know, we you know, history usually repeats itself. Muscle memory, um, chart effects, chart market structure usually plays a similar role uh, all throughout your career. Uh, the, the question is, you know, do you open up your eyes, right? Do you, do you look at reality that we, like we've been talking about uh, or are you still, tr you know, trading in fantasy world uh, with the blinders on? And, you know, yesterday we saw the second day in a row of a lower high, again, resembling off the rejection off the upper Bollinger Band. And today was day three. Now, again, it's not really a big deal. Uh, the NASDAQ was down 100 points today. That's not a big deal. Uh, what we've been talking about uh, for the last, you know, week or so, is not the destruction of market prices, not the destruction of stocks, but reiterating the point that even though we've on a, been on a big run and the market continues to, to see really strong value, we want to stay away from the high rises. Remember, like every video, it's the same thing. Stay away from the stocks that are you know, up 10, 20, 30% away from the 50-day moving average. Again, when the market gets pulled, they're the first ones to, to get hit first and pulled uh, the hardest because gravity is real and there's only one breakout, okay? There's a one breakout and then everything else is a continuation. And the further you are from the breakout price, if the market does feel a little bit heavy, and a, a rounding top starts to fall, the first ones, the first dominoes that are always going to feel the ramifications of a potential rug pull is obviously the high flyers. And we saw that today with some incredible pulls. Not everything, right? That's the whole point, not everything. We're still above the 50-day moving average. Uh, there's still a lot of names that are being pulled up above supply, but the stocks that have the big, big runs, the euphoria, the deep out of the money calls, buy it at any given point, they're the ones that got hit, they're the ones that got hit hard, and um, the after hours action reflects exactly uh, what we talked about. So, you know, let's talk about the high, biggest high flyers, right? Uh, no bigger high flyer than Tesla. Uh, look at the NVIDIA, right? Look at NVIDIA. And again, this is not a an indication of what it did, but an indication of what can happen. It started really, really good, and then they pulled it 30 points off the highs. And if you look at Tesla's chart, right? If you look at Tesla's chart, how it's formed, how it formed this whole formation of what happened today, and you look at NVIDIA's chart, how it's setting up, it's very, very similar, okay? Uh, look at a name, for example, like CAR. We'll get to the uh, individual pivots in a second. The stocks that had the biggest moves, once they lost the five-day moving average, again, think, uh, think CAR, think Tesla, right? They're the ones that get absolutely destroyed. Some phenomenal moves today, okay? Absolutely phenomenal moves today. And when you look at the after hours action, it continues the trend. Coin, right? Coin, huge, huge move in coin. Absolutely magnificent move in coin. After hours, absolutely manhandled. Uh, UPST, another ridiculous high flyer. Absolutely destroyed. Letter U, right? 
absolutely destroy it. And that really shows the purpose. It's not about being right. Well, the market's going to sell off, the market's going to sell off, the market's sold off. It's like doing the, the, the rain dance in the desert. Eventually, the market's sold off and you're patting yourself on the shoulder. It's not what it's about. It was about giving an, 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 giving an indication, an inclination of what's going to happen if you completely remove sensibility out of the equation and believe that you can walk on water and nothing's going to affect you. The high flyers are always going to be the ones uh, that get hit first. And unfortunately, new traders, they, they, you've never experienced this. So how can you possibly see the signs coming? How can you possibly uh, see the train coming in the tunnel if you've never experienced something? And unfortunately, that was the case. I think a, a lot of people today uh, got really caught, uh, uh, you know, really off guard on a lot of major moves. Uh, we saw this morning not only a pretty aggressive move from the biggest runners, but we saw the financials as well. You know, you had Goldman Sachs that had a pretty big run now five days in a row. Financials are giving up. So the high flyers are giving up. The financials are giving up. You're seeing a lot of the beta names that first started resting, just melting a little bit lower. They're getting, they're starting to get aggressive as well. Amazon looks great. I'm not saying all of them. And the reason why Amazon held up, because Amazon never went linear. Keep that in mind. Amazon never had that 25, 30 day in a row up six, $700 move. It never happened. And this is why the stock started getting really, really aggressive today versus all its peers that started getting very, very weak and setting up some tremendous value tomorrow to the downside. On the flip side, remember this, we're still above the 50 day moving average. So the names that are going to still do well going into tomorrow on names that just confirmed today, whether they had uh, really, really good earnings. Again, think names uh, like TTD that had a great second day run. We'll talk about the pivots in a second. A name like RBLX, right? RBLX had fantastic, fantastic earnings today. Should be bought TTD and RBLX uh, and Amazon, matter of fact, should be bought on any dip tomorrow uh, into rising 60 minutes support. Again, we're still in a bullish type of environment. Just now we're seeing a lot of aggression cycles in very, very exaggerated names. But that's exactly what we planned for. And the most important part I think about today's session was not because, well, we were finally right. Who cares about rain right? Okay, it's not about tweets and retweets and likes and shares. It's about being prepared so you're not sitting there completely bombarded with an avalanche of selling in certain names if you didn't see it coming, if you didn't see the price action coming or didn't care to even think this was going to affect you, right? That's the arrogance that every single trader, including myself, uh, during the dot-com bubble and now during this m miraculous 2021 uh, se uh, 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 season, that stock prices are just getting tired. The leaders are getting hit. Uh, earnings now are starting to get really exaggerated, especially uh, to the downside, but especially to the upside as well. So this market is really loving hard. It's really hating hard. But the most important part that we go into every single day is don't trade with your eyes closed be prepared whether it's the long side to the short side be prepared from the technical aspect of what is happening is we're in a short little crossroad I what I'm about to say has nothing to do about what I think is going to happen if we lose today's lows but today was the first day that we closed below the five-day moving average all the way since October the 12th so you're talking about roughly a full calendar month without closing once below the five-day moving average. That's how strong the action has been. That's how linear some of these stocks have moved. So what's the ramification below the five-day moving average? If we confirm tomorrow and we start losing today's ranges, obviously, if you believe in the theory that stocks trade from supply to supply, demand to demand, then the next area of interest is going to be the 10-day moving average, which is roughly around you know two and a half, three dollars not a big deal not a big deal whatsoever um it doesn't become a big deal until we start losing the 50-day moving average which at this point it's even ridiculous to even think that we're going to get all the way down here let the market play out let the market and prices dictate to us that it's going to happen but first before it gets down to the 50-day moving average there's a series of events that it has to happen right we have to reclaim the five day move to the 10 the next day we have to reclaim the 10 day move to the 20 and we will claim the 20 day uh, move to the 150, you know, and on and on and on. So one day at a time, that's the most important part. You could only uh, prepare for one day at a time, 
one trade at a time, but you have to think. You can't put yourself on a position that you're going to go on tilt just because you're careless and you're putting yourself in a situation that you're guessing and forecasting and hoping to God that the market and your stocks uh, recover. So let's talk about it, right? Let's talk about uh, let's talk about today. Obviously, going into tomorrow, um, I definitely have some shorts that I like. I definitely have some longs that I like, but I definitely have some shorts that I really, really like. So let's talk about uh, today's session. Uh, one of the more uh, aggressive sessions that I can remember, we've had some really aggressive sessions uh, over the last two, three weeks ever since uh, the 50-day moving average. But today's moves, and especially today's pulls uh, in names uh, like Tesla, in names um, like a car, uh, even moves in TTD, just, just super duper aggressive. And going into today's session, I, I really didn't believe that we could have a big premium day. But as I said in morning strategy, and for all you guys who are getting the recording tonight, um, you could, you know, I, I clearly said, I, I said, I don't think today will be a premium session, but I believe we can get some premium value. And ironically, it turned into a premium session. So let's talk about it. Uh, so TTD, just like uh, RBLX, had a great, great quarter. Um, and it, it, it took out all areas of, of, of interest yesterday and it put in a high at $90. Why was $90 important? Well, $90 was the high uh, from September the 9th, it, it, it's September the 9th, and it stopped perfectly, perfectly at 90. So it got rejected twice. If it builds above, uh, can, can push. What it, monster move, absolutely monster move. Here is the 90 uh, from the eight, nine highs. Here was the 90 that stopped yesterday. It took out the 90 and basically traded to 100. I think this thing has one more day of upside. Uh, and again, any dip tomorrow uh, needs to be bought into rising 60 minutes support. Um, Gree never got, you know, again, it, this is the third time we watched that 31 level. This is the third time it traded down, you know, traded to the 3050s, 3070s. Uh, never confirmed the 31 area. I'm just waiting patiently for that stock to go if it does would be great. Uh, AMD never gave a second entry, popped a little bit pre-market, never came down. Uh, Jumia never got to this 1980-20 level. Um, and I, I started putting, I go, listen, I'll start putting in more pivots as they develop a lot of noise, little substance, let's wait for everything to play out. And slowly but surely it did. So you had a monster move in TTD crowd. I forgot who put it, who put it into the channel. It was not my idea. Phenomenal trade. Whoever did it, I, I apologize. I, I, I'm just so tired. I just don't remember. Uh, but 284.75, 285 needs to build. Uh, crowd went absolutely uh, bonkers off the open. It took out this whole 85 level, uh, went to 96, and, and crowd is literally one day away. If the market uh, doesn't sell off tomorrow, the you know crowd is one day away from uh, taking on uh, all time highs again. So you know crowd looks great. Great. I mean seven dollar push on crowd today if you got a great job there. Um, TTD, they were coming right away. They were coming uh, for the 95 calls over and over and over. And then they started coming for the 100 calls. Uh, stock traded to like 90 and change. For just a fantastic move uh, in TTD. Monster move. I mean, absolutely monster move. Uh, this was obviously, I mean, to call it the trade of the day, to call it the, you know, the, the absolute destruction of the day, um, it, and this is where we talk about stocks go from support to support, to supply to supply, to demand to demand. So Tesla yesterday stopped at the 10-day moving average. And here is uh, the 10-day moving average on Tesla. It stopped yesterday on this rising support, and the low is 1133. Stocks trade from demand to demand, right? So demand to demand. This was an absolute, just a free-for-all, uh, 1133 is the 10 day moving average, 10 day support. If it builds below, it has a lot of room down. Um, to, to say the word destroyed uh, was an understatement. Um, just absolutely just wrecked, just absolutely wrecked. Um, I thought it could get down to uh, 1050. Uh, I thought it could get down to 1050, it got down to 1011, just murdered, absolutely murdered. Uh, you know, do I know, do we know, does anybody really know if Elon Musk sold today? Who the hell knows? It doesn't really make a difference. Price actions, price action, and technical levels are super important. Uh, AI 51, 51.32 needs to build. The December 55 calls are coming in. Again, you could clearly see just a huge, huge 
uh, potential today. Uh, here is the 51, here is the 51.32. Uh, stock traded to almost 54 coming into the 50 day supply. Really, really big move there. Uh, take on the way up, 53.50 for supply. Uh, car, here's another example, stock Anything that rallied, anything that was up in the sky got wrecked today. 271 held twice. If it builds below, can see 247, 10-day support. They're killing anything, right? Anything that's overextended, who would have thunk it, right? See if you heard this before. Be careful of anything overextended, right? That's the whole point, folks. Just be, and it's not about being right. It's just about to be prepared. Uh, Cisco finally woke up. I still like Cisco. Uh, off the 58. I'm, I just amazing moves today. Really, really amazing moves. Again, guys, congratulations for all you guys uh, who, you know, just did well, just did absolutely well today. Um, you know, phenomenal session. A uh, car, by the way, traded uh, all the way down to 249 uh, is the low. So going into tomorrow, I, I'm definitely watching day two for potential selling in uh, Tesla. I'm watching the video uh, below the five day moving average. I'm watching dips on TTD. I'm watching dips on RBLX. I'm watching uh, Amazon for any weakness trap on the 60 uh, minute support. There's a lot of good value for tomorrow's session, but the most important part that we continue to keep an eye, an eye on is that five day moving average on the queues. If that gets violated, if that gets uh, confirmed, you're gonna see another uh, leg going lower. Guys, have a great night. God bless and I'll see you all tomorrow.